because I'm off to an interview um, for a volunteer opportunity and I just wanted to show you how I style my bubble necklace. Um, this is from luxcraving.com and I will link that below. Selena, you're awesome. I love her jewelry. And this is the um, Hot Fuchsia bubble necklace. So that's what it looks like. Then my shirt has like a couple layers of ruffles in the front here and it's really comfortable. It's longer in the back and shorter in the front. It's from H&M. My earrings are just little studs from H&M as well. And then I have this bracelet, this bow bracelet, and it is from Forever 21. The lighting is really strong, so there you go. And that's all I have, very simplistic. And then for my shoes, I have my Tory Burch patent leather flats. And then I just have some black slacks on, my hair is straightened. My eye makeup is kind of like a goldeny fall leaf look. Um, and my lips are Shy Girl by MAC. The colors on my eyes are just too many to mention, but I am going to do an eye look on this in the future for the fall. I'm going to scoot back now so you can see my whole outfit and I'll post pictures after. Oh, I forgot to say I'm using my Michael Kors rose gold satchel purse. It has MK all over it. It's really pretty. guys just got out of my interview I'll take my glasses off real quick and it's for a volunteer opportunity at a new leaf um, which is an organization that helps like domestic abuse victims homeless like all different kinds of areas um, so I totally got got it like the interview went really really well she was really sweet and she kept complimenting my necklace. I'm wearing my bubble fuchsia necklace today by Lux Craving. It's more of a business attire look that I did um, because I did have an interview, but I will also be doing a few casual looks as well. And the rest of the day, just taking Harley to the vet today. He needs to get his annual shots, poor baby. And I'll be filming a video also. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you real quick the new Maybelline Limited Edition um, color tattoos. It says limited edition on the side. These are the fall Maybelline line. I already got the gold one and I'm wearing it today on my eyes. But I couldn't find this one in the barely beige and I just found some at this Walgreens here. And it's just a really beautiful shimmery kind of champagne beige. I got two because I'm going to give one away. I'm going to have a fall giveaway soon so be on the lookout. Not sure if you can see or not, but it's rainy. It's rainy. It's pouring. And we don't get rain in Arizona very often, so that's why I'm filming it for you. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm paying very close attention to the road. Having Ling Cuisine pizza for lunch. These are really, really good. If you've never tried it, you need to. They're on, this one is the cheese one. It's really good. And then I'm also on the computer because I just up, I just filmed, not uploaded, just filmed my What's in My Purse video, that purse right there. And I'm just going to upload it right now and start editing and having my lunch. Okay, so this is the second outfit. It's a little bit more casual. Sorry, the lighting's a bit bright, guys. Um, so I have my hair straightened but tied, like swirled and tied back with the bobby pins. I have these little flower earrings from Forever 21. This um, mint watch from Target, these mint beads from Forever 21, and then this is the Warrior Rose Gold Bracelet from Selena's site, Lux Craving, and I will link that below. It's the same site that has this bubble necklace. Um, this is the Hot Fuchsia bubble necklace. It's so fun, I love it. And then this shirt is also from Target. It is just like a mint um, boyfriend kind of tee with a scoop neck, and this was only $8. Um, then I have my Miss Me jeans on from Buckle, and then just some flip-flops. And I'm going to scoot back and show you this, um, like, everyday casual way to wear your bubble necklace. Hi honeybees, just wanted to quickly show you my outfit for today. I'm just holding the camera up, so sorry if it's a little shaky. I have a fishtail braid today. 
coming out a little there. Then I just have these studs from H&M. My eye makeup is Bad to the Bronze by Maybelline. And then I just have some MAC shadows over the top of that. I think I have Cork in the crease. Naked Lunch as my highlight. My mascara is L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous. And it's also Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, as my liner, I have the Revlon Color Stay Pen. And then in my tear duct here, I have 24-7 Zero Liner by Urban Decay. On my lips, I have the... Oh, I forget what it's called. Hmm. And on my lips, I have this NYC lip gloss. And this is in Sunset, I believe. Can't find it. Pretty sure it's... Oh, no. It's in Brighton Beach Peach. I don't know where I got Sunset, but that's what it looks like. And then my shirt is my Victoria's Secret Fashion Show shirt that I got for free last year. Can't wait for the next fashion show. And then I just have my Miss Me jeans on. Um, then for my arm candy, I have my Glitter U2 Cross Bracelet, Wrap Bracelet. The skull, Gold Skull Bracelet is from LX Design. I'll link it below. Spike Bracelet from Forever 21. The Little Heart one is from Hello Berry. And the skulls on the bottom are, for, are from Oatlook. But you can find them at J.Crew also and online everywhere. And that's it. I'm off to lunch with a friend. I'm off to an interview at Sephora um, and so I just got back from my yoga job and I just changed real quick. I have my HRH collection necklace on today. Um, this top, I think I got this at TJ Maxx. It's kind of like a bat wing and it's shorter in the front, a little bit longer in the back but it cinches in in the back. And then I have a black um, cami underneath and then I have shoes in my way. And then I have stud earrings today, and then this bracelet from Kohl's. On my lips, I have one of the new Too Faced lipsticks in Nude Beach. Looks like that. It's really nice and smooth, and love it. Then I have some fake lashes on. They are the Ardell's Wispies. And my eye makeup is a golden eye look that I used the... Um, new Fall Collection Maybelline Eye Studio, the gold one. And then on top of that, I used um, an eyeshadow from Sephora that's from the Prism Collection. It's like in a little square one, and it's the gold one. I can't think of the name. I'm so sorry. The lighting is really harsh all of a sudden. And I just have a fishtail braid, black slacks, and my Tory Burch patent leather flats. And that's it. Hi guys! So my interview went really well at Sephora. It was just a first interview, so I'll be doing a second interview in about a week. Um, I did get a new lipstick. I'm wearing it. I love it so much. It's in Mango. It's by Laura Mercier. And then I also got a Tar Tarina Tarantino palette. It's my first ever. So I'll be hauling these soon. Hi guys! So I'm off to go get my nails redone. They are growing out majorly. I just wanted to show you my makeup for today because it's so much fun. Um, I'm wearing a purple eye lip today. I'm actually going to zoom in. Hold on. And I use the Tarina Tarantino palette. I will link the name above. I forget what it's called, but it's brand new. I love it. So, I'm used to that. I'm not used to wearing purple eyeshadow, so I'm still getting used to it. But let me know what you think and I'll do a tutorial if you want. And then I'm wearing this lipstick by MUA Makeup Academy. It's in the color Bear. And then I'm wearing this lip gloss. It is called Samantha by Buxom and it's a nude gloss. I love it. And then on my cheeks I am wearing... What am I wearing on my cheeks? Exposed by Tarte. <laughs> And then my bronzer is Too Faced, Chocolate Soleil. Okay guys, story time. Last night I had a date. It topped my worst dates ever. <laughs> and I thought that I would share with you. So first of all, we had, we met online. 
I talked to him on the phone for an hour and a half, two days prior to our date. We spoke again through text every single day. Seemed like a great guy, seemed fine to me, seemed normal. So then, the day of the date, he is so unorganized that he gives me no plan. So then I'm like, okay, I texted him and was like, what time are we meeting? And he was like, um, five or six. I know he was working that day, but that drives me nuts when there's no plan. So right away I was already like, oh, this is not going well. <laughs> and so then, fast forward to the date, because I don't want this to be like a half an hour long video, but fast forward to the date, he needs me to get directions for him to the place, which is just like, use MapQuest, how hard is it in this day and age? But, so I got, I had to get him directions. Then, once we met at the place, we went to Postino. Oh, <laughs> we went to Postino's, which is a wine bar here in Arizona. Um, so, it's a wine bar. You're going to be drinking wine. Why would we go there if we weren't going to have a glass of wine? So, when we first met, like, he hugs me hello. I order a glass of Moscato, and he says, no thank you, to the waitress, and just has water. So, alright, you're not a drinker, it's not a big deal, but why are we at a wine bar then, if you're not going to have a glass of wine? So then, he, we were meeting for dinner, it was like 7.15 at that time. He goes, oh, I'm really sorry, I'm not going to eat, because I already ate a lot at work. He works at a hotel, and they fed him, apparently. And I'm just like, thanks for telling me I'm starving, and now you're not going to have a glass of wine or eat. So I was like, all right, I guess I'm not going to eat either. He's like, oh, no, you can eat if you want. I'm like, no, I'm not going to eat in front of you and drink wine in front of you while you just drink water. I don't think so. So we didn't eat anything. Um, thank God for my wine, because that's what saved the evening. And... I don't know, to sum it up, there was no good conversation, like it was very general, like he was asking me, oh, so how far, how long does it take you to get to work, like silly questions like that, like nothing that was really getting to know me on a deeper level, like a first date usually is like, and he kept winking at me, like, no, don't wink at girls, if guys are watching this right now, do not wink at us, like, <laughs> It's weird. It was creepy. Like, he kept waking at me. I'm like, okay. Also, he looked at every single woman. Fat, skinny, tall, short, not attractive, attractive. It didn't matter what woman walked by. He looked at her. And I mean checked her out, obviously, too. Ridiculous. Um, what else did he do? I don't know. There was a ton of little things like that that added up. So yeah, that was my date. And then he wanted to walk outside um, afterwards. Oh, by the way, I paid for my, my glass of wine. He did not pay for my, my wine even. And then um, he wanted to go walk outside. So when we were walking, a guy walked by that was shirtless. It was hot out. A guy that was shirtless did not look gay in the slightest. And the reason I'm saying this, you'll realize why I'm saying that. So he walks by us, the guy smiled, the half-naked guy, at me, not him, and he goes, that guy's gay. I'm like, why do you think that guy's gay? And he's like, you don't think so? I'm like, no. And he's like, he was totally checking me out. Really? Really? You think that guy was checking you out? Oh my god. I was like, I don't think so. And he's like, well, you're just probably bad at knowing if someone's gay. I'm like, okay, whatever. Anyways, I made him an excuse to get the hell out of there because, yeah, I was starving and I wanted to go home and watch the True Blood finale. The True Blood finale, flipping awesome. Thanks a lot for the cliffhanger, True Blood. Every year they have a big cliffhanger and I'm left wondering and waiting till the next year, next June. Anyone else watch True Blood and think that it was way too short this year? It was only like 12 episodes. What the heck? I want more Eric. Don't you guys understand this? Anyways, so I spent some time with Eric Northman for the rest of my night. Cracked my mom and best friend up telling them about my date. So, in the end, another frog that I did not kiss. And someday I hope to find my prince. Just got my nails redone. 
Isn't this so pretty? I call these my princess nails because they're glittery and light pink. They're so pretty. And she shaped them so pretty today. So, love them. Hi guys, I'm off to my second meeting for my volunteer new position at A New Leaf. So that's where I'm off to right now. Um, I have my HRH cuff necklace on today. This shirt is from Target. And then I have some arm candy on today too from Express Forever 21 and Hello Berry. My earrings are just studs. I have my hair up in a bun and a French braid because um, my hair was just not cooperating today. I really wanted it to be down, but I just didn't have time to curl it. So that's what I look like, and I'm off to the meeting. Oh, and I also have some Starbucks, thanks to my mom. She brought it <laughs> for me. So my meeting went really well. I'm going to be starting volunteering next Wednesday. And it is going to be at a domestic violence shelter. Obviously, I can't disclose anything else, really, but I am excited to start. I'm going to be helping with... Oh, my God, my necklace is so whack. All of a sudden. Um, I'm going to be helping just with, like, filing paperwork, helping with the calls that come in, helping um, with different activities that they do for the children and the women. So I'm really excited to start. Hi honeybees, so today I did a really crazy smoky eye and I just never do this. You guys probably know if you follow me for a while, I'm more of like the neutral kind of color eyeshadow girl. I'll, I'll experiment sometimes, but um, I forget what her name is, but I'm going to put her right here. I know it's like Makeup Guru or something like that. Um, but she did this eye look um, on last week, I think it was, or when I post this, it'll probably be like two weeks. Um, and what she did for this eye look and what I did for this eye look was use um, gel eyeliner as the base, black gel eyeliner, and then use just one shadow in the tear duct over to about here. And it's like a silvery shadow. It's the L'Oreal um, infallible shadow that I've shown you guys before. It's called Diamond Something. It's like a silvery blue color. So that's what I used. And then I went under the, my um, eye line as well with the gel eyeliner. And then in my tear duct and upper lash line, I used the 24-7 Pencil in Zero from Urban Decay. Um, not sure you can see the rest of my makeup really well, but my cheeks, I have Contours, Too Faced, Chocolate Soleil. My blush, I used Cactus Flower. It's a cream shadow. I mean, cream blush, blush by NARS. And then on my lips, I have... Innocence Beware by MAC. And then I have a fishtail braid today with my French braid right here. And then it falls into a fishtail braid. I have these cute little star bling earrings from Kohl's. And then I have my Disney Couture skull ring on today. Um, don't have any arm candy on yet. I probably will put some more skulls on my wrist in a second. My shirt, I just have this half shirt. Um, I got this at a boutique here in Arizona. It just has some lips, it's kind of faded, and then I have a um, tank underneath. I'm going to be filming later today, so you're going to see this eye look in one of my Friday favorites. Um, so if you guys want a tutorial, I can do it again, but I'm probably just going to link her video below because I feel like I'd be copying her if I did another tutorial exactly almost the same. We just use different eyeshadow, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me know what you think. So I went and returned something at Sephora today, the Ooh La La um, New Voluminous Lip Gloss that Buxom had. I ended up returning it. It was 19 bucks, and I didn't love it, so. Returned that, and then I'm going to work right now, boo. And I edited a video, and I filmed Friday Favorites for you today. Hi, guys. Really quick, I'm going to dinner with friends, and I just curled my hair loosely and brushed it a bit. So that's what that looks like. I have this top, which I believe I got at Kohl's. It's really girly, has flowy sleeves, kind of deep cut. It has floral, little, it's kind of sheer. Uh, that's what the back looks like. I have my Miss Me jeans on, my rose gold Paris Amour ring from Jewel Mints, and this rose gold cuff bracelet from a boutique here in Arizona. And then I have little flower studs from Forever 21. 
And that's pretty much it. I have Target flip-flops on. Not the bling ones, different ones. I'll show you. And that's pretty much it. My lunch for today is some grapes, plain crackers, and a light Laughing Cow Creamy Swiss Cheese, two wedges. They're 35 calories a piece. So just a nice, healthy, light lunch, but this could also be a snack. Hi guys, I know it's super dark. I've been such a bad vlogger today. I actually went and got my hair done um, today, so nice and blondes. Um, now I'm at Walmart doing some like 8 o'clock, actually it's 9 o'clock in the evening shopping because it's just so hot here and I just don't feel like shopping during the day. So going to Walmart right now. Okay, love for that. Um, I'm on my way to go meet my friend Joan, Haley, and I think Sabrina also. We are having an early dinner together. And I just wanted to show you my hair better today. This is what it looks like. Pretty much the same. Maybe a touch ashier of a blonde, I think. But yeah, I like it a lot. No more roots, so that's what I especially like. <laughs> and what else did I want to tell you? Today, me and my mom went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning, and I had my first pumpkin latte of the season. I definitely like Starbucks pumpkin latte way better, though. Um... But it was, it was okay. And, but it's still blazing hot here. I have the air, you probably hear it. I have the air at max speed right now. Um, sorry, hold on. I just want to make sure. There was some crazy traffic because of the church activity because it is Sunday. Um, but yeah, it's still 106 here today. So it doesn't really feel like fall, but I still wanted a pumpkin latte. And, and we went to like a furniture store, but that's really it. Today I have some skulls on, some spikes across, my Disney couture, and then I have like a skull shirt on today too. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. So the dinner went really well. I actually had squash spaghetti. Have any of you ever had squash spaghetti? It's literally squash. That's um, kind of thinned out to look like spaghetti, and then it had... Um, zucchini in it also, which I love zucchini. Ooh, do you like my little mask going on here? Um, anyways, it had zucchini in it, and it had peppers and tomato sauce over it. It was only 257 calories, and it was at Ruby Tuesdays that I had it. Um, it actually was really good. It does not taste anything like spaghetti, though. It was definitely, definitely squash, but it tasted really good when it was combined with the sauce. Um, so if you're not thinking about it not being spaghetti and you just think about it being a squash, then it tastes amazing. Um, and you cannot find things for that low of, uh, of calories at a restaurant. So that was pretty yummy. Had that. It was fun getting to see the girls because we don't get to see each other that often. Other than Eliana, I don't see my other friends very often because we don't live close together, have opposite schedules. Um, so it's just harder to meet up. So did that. And then... My amazing friend Joan gave me a bag of goodies, ah! and they're all like makeup, makeup things, like samples, even actual full-size foundations and things that she's not using and thought that it would be useful for me to review them and, and use them for my um, YouTube. So I'm super excited. Also, my friend Sabrina gave me a um, bag of goodies too that she's not using. So my friends are awesome. They give me makeup. Is that not so cool or what? So be on the lookout for a new review on the hose. Oh my God, the thing that I'm super excited about. Let me get it out. There's one in particular, two things. The Laura Mercier new foundation. It's the oil free. So I'll be trying that out. And then I think it's the Jose Marin Argon Oil. When I saw that, I squealed like a little girl because I've been really wanting to try that Argon Oil. And I know that a lot of people rave about it. So I'm, oh God, I'm sorry about the lighting. So I'll probably be trying that out on my hair. So I'll show you guys soon.